1959 is the record set by Natoya Gould in 2006. That outstanding Jamaican, Kaylee Ford, Jada Grant, Atoya Harvey, Andrean Peer, Narissa McPherson, Ricaria Campbell, Michelle Smith, Ashlyn Simmons. Several of these athletes have won individuals already at Carifta 49. Double punch for Guyana, Harvey. Winner of the 1500, silver in the 3000, trying to attempt a triple that has never been done before. Away they go. Michelle Smith of the U.S. Virgin Islands, 400 hurdles champion. Medal in the sprint hurdles as well. Bronze earlier today, she's back for the 800 final. And as she goes out quickly and takes the lead, aggressive first 200 meters here for Michelle Smith of the U.S. Virgin Islands. The 1500 champion Harvey of Guyana is in second. Then in third position, Adrian Peart of Jamaica, her teammate Ricaria Campbell is in fourth position. The tall figure of Narissa McPherson of Guyana is in sixth spot. And if they allow the pace to be slow, she will finish well. Smith has just won the sprint hurdles final, got a medal, and here is pushing the pace at 800 meters. Wow. Asked you yesterday if she reminded you a little bit of Kelly Spencer Hubert, and she goes through the 400 meters point with the lead. 61.9 for the first 400 meters of Smith. Of the U.S. Virgin Islands, still leading this 800 meters final. She's looking for her third medal at the Carifta Games. So too is the Guyanese Atoya Harvey. Harvey still in third position. Oh, this is a terrific performance from Smith. Just a look as if she's coming back to the field. Just on the 200 meters to run. Harvey of Guyana and Peart of Jamaica feeling the pinch. The second Guyanese, Narissa McPherson, comes into third position with her familiar late burst. Smith has the lead, but the race might not be over yet. She's now starting to tire, but can anyone close her down? The Jamaican Peart is in second. Harvey is struggling back in third. This is a courageous performance from Michelle Smith of the U.S. Virgin Islands. She's coming away to her second gold medal to add to her 110 earners bronze, 210.69, just over a second outside the career to record, 210.78 it has been adjusted to. Michelle Smith took that race on and she becomes a Carifta champion for the second time at the 49th Games. Indefatigable, ran the hurdles less than half an hour ago. That's Andrew Peart, silver for Jamaica. Smith took them on, broke the kickers with a brisk first pace, hustled to 600 meters and held on for the gold medal. So Harvey attempting a, a triple that no one would expect. But look at Smith, winner in the 400 meter hurdles, got the silver in the 100 hurdles not an hour ago comes back here legs must be dead but guess what she takes it out keeps up there pulls away from the field second goal for the night the intent was very clear from the outset for michelle smith of the u.s virgin islands take the race on and the others could not go with her and even though she struggled badly in the last 80 meters. There was no catching her. Terrific effort. Confirmation of the results. 21078 for Michelle Smith, the gold medalist. Andrean Peart of Jamaica, 21307 silver. Atoya Harvey, 21408 bronze. Narissa McPherson, second Guyanese in the final, down in fourth at 216-13, Simmons of Barbados 5th, Campbell of Jamaica 6th, Grant of Bermuda 7th, and Ford of Trinidad and Tobago, the 1500 silver medalist in 8th. Michelle Smith, gold at 4 hurdles, gold at 800, silver at the sprint hurdles, in the discussion now, the MVP. Definitely, definitely. In the discussion, on a first round, because the time and space was there for it, there's the lineup, Gideon of Turks and Caicos, Lynch of British Virgin Islands, Duncan Barbados, Mayors of Belize, Winder of Bahamas, Harry of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Mornell 
of Guadeloupe, Tristan Jaraja, the 1500 champion from Trinidad and Tobago, Javan Roberts, the so off they go. Under 17 boys, 800 final. Price of Jamaica going on fast on the outside. When you're when you have been given a lane with another competitor and the field is this big, then you want to get out of traffic. And it's Ains De Brown who has gotten out of that traffic and taken the lead ahead of the Bohemian Raywin Winder. Brown, big and powerful, likes the lead. Long strikes, maybe in front is the best place for him. A bit windy inside this building at five past five. He's best to pick to borrow through that wind. Coming off, coming off a 155.08 run a week ago. Mayers now steps forward and goes to the front. 56.5 for the first lap. Myers pushing the pace. That he is for sure. Daniel Myers of Belize, sixth in the 1500 final. Trish Cantaraja, you always have to look out for the Trinidadian. He's dangerous. He's coming on the outside. Moving into third position now, the Trinidadian. The Jamaican Ains de Brown goes to the front. Trish Cantaraja is now in second position for Trinidad and Tobago. Winder of the Bahamas is in third. Price of Jamaica goes by him. Trish Cantaraja kicks and opens up a two meter lead. The Trinidadian leads the two Jamaicans as they turn for home. Trish Cantaraja. Ains de Brown comes alongside him. Trish Kanjaraja and Ains de Brown. Rashid Price comes up on his outside. Oh, this is showmanship from Ains de Brown. He calls the Trinidadian along, who does brilliantly Trish Kanjaraja to hold on for silver. Well, the crowd is loving it. Ains de Brown coming up 155-08 at his high school championship a week ago doesn't run for time today he runs for the crowd and delivers 158.08 to strike gold the card looks like Natoya Gould there has a record girls under 17 Swiss Kanjaraja almost did a classic 815 double but the finishing power of Brown on your screen now took over near the end it was decisive mm. There are some who will like it, there are others who won't. Rashid Price, the bronze medalist, 158.51. I wonder where Maurice Wignall stands on the showboating scale. Showboating is not my style, but that was quite impressive. Uh, urging on someone who is not from your country, uh, that's very good. Very good showmanship indeed. Here's another look at it. Ains de Brown, the Jamaican starting in lane eight alongside his countryman, went out hard. There was a the follow lead. on the first lap as well. This 11 man field bumps into each other and there was a casualty. Trish Kanjaraja with the lead, heading for home. Brown on his outside has a look at him, hasn't even passed him yet, but is so confident at this stage. Looks back, says, Come on, young man. Trish Kanjaraja, the 1500 champion coming through for 800 silver as Ains de Brown becomes Karifta champion in the under 17 boys age group. I'm a big fan of showboating if it's not bad, looks bad as if you're taunting your position and Brown has to be careful that some people think that might have happened. 158.08, Trish Kanjaraja 158.45, Rashid Price in bronze medal position 158.51. I just wonder if something was said somewhere in the call room or whatever it is. But let's get to Daniel Dowie. Maybe she can get us some answers. I was just in high school, like Natoya Ghoul. Thought you were talking about the TNT World Record in 1966. <laughs> Jada At first, is <laughs> the Cayman Islands goes in lane number two. Jodian Mitchell, Jamaica in three. Leila Haynes, Barbados four. Rashana Dwyer, Jamaica in five. Sheila Chan of Bermuda in six. Tamara Gurrier of Guadeloupe in seven. And Adriel Austin of Guyana in lane eight. 100 meters. There is 
Layla Haynes of Barbados. Off they go. Layla Haynes of Barbados, bronze in the 1500 meters. Based at the IMG Academy in Florida. Former Harrison College student. Was a real star at Harrison College, but it's the Jamaican Rashawn Dwyer who has gone out well. Fastest in the field this season, Dwyer at 20827. She has a storied Carifta Games career, the Jamaican 800 bronze at the under 18 level in 2018, won 1500 gold that year as well. And when she returned in 20, and well, and before that in 2017, she had won silver in the 1500 behind Shakina Foote. So she's never won the 800 meters at the Carifta Games when many feel that her better event is the 800 and this is her last trek. But Layla Haynes is in the mix and goes to the lead, the Barbadian. The first lap honest at 62.3. Haynes has the lead. Dwight in the black tucked into second. Audrey Austin of Guyana in third position. Jodian Mitchell, who usually finishes fastest in fourth. Jodian Mitchell won the under 17 title in 2019. A 1500 silver medalist. In 2019 as well, behind Samantha Price, her countrywoman who won the 3,000 last night. Looks but off the pace Haynes. in fourth, though. Yeah, she is off the pace. Layla Haynes of Barbados with the lead. Rashawn Dwyer is in second position, right behind her. The Barbadian, bronze in the 1,500 meters. Oh, some pushing and barging, and the Jamaican escapes with the advantage. Rashawn Dwyer in front. Haynes in second position. Jody and Mitchell moves into the bronze medal position. Rashana Dwyer, the former 1500 champion, will win the 800 meters for the first time. And it's in her final Carifta Games. She delivers a personal best as well. 207 35. There is no better way to go out from this event than with a gold medal and a lifetime best. And Rashana Dwyer has delivered in emphatic fashion 207.35. Like Ed Moses in the 83 World Champs for Hurdles, Dwyer runs this race with a shoelace untied. Her teammate Mitchell rushes up for the silver, and uh, Layla Haynes pushed the pace, gets the bronze. This is a fabulous victory lap for Rashawn Edouard. She did the same thing at the Jamaican High School Championships when she ended her illustrious career with gold in the 800 meters. There is Layla Haynes, bronze medalist, 210.58. Little unlucky, a little touch as Dwyer went by in the top curve. I think another little touch when this lady, Mitchell, on the right-hand side went past near the end. Yeah, Mitchell, like she usually does, finishing fast in this race and able to snatch the silver medal. Let's have a look back at it. Rashana Dwyer going out hard. Adriel Austin of Guyana right there as Leila Haynes went through 400 meters with the lead. The Barbadian who trains at the IMG Academy in Florida. There is the touch from Dwyer who escapes with the advantage at the top of the straight and the Jamaican just powered away from there. Haynes falling apart in the closing stages and Mitchell coming through to grab silver. What a terrific way to end her regional junior career. Carifta gold at 800 for the first time. So many injuries, so much pain and now gold two weeks back to back 207 35 mitchell 209 73 leila haynes of barbados 210 58 andrea austin 213 62 the guyanese finishing in fourth position and uh, everyone hoping that record will, will fall today there's the lineup Jashani Farrington of the British Virgin Islands, Sancha Smith of Bermuda, Nathan Cumberbatch, Trinidad and Tobago, Nairobi Smith Mills, Bermuda, Alan LaCroix, Guadeloupe, and 800 final. Away they go. Nelly Amberton of St. Vincent and the Grenadines went on quickly. 
There's no Alan Lacroix of Guadeloupe who wants to be in lane five, so we have a seven athletes going in this final. Cobra batch of Trinidad and Tobago taking the early lead, the Jamaican running wide before cutting on the inside and going to the front, Joe Bond Blake. Does this in all his races, leads it through the first hundred, stays out of traffic, comes from the outside to take the lead at the 150. The early pace suggests that he's going for something special. Blake, three times under one minute, 49 or 149 or better. He's run twice under the Corifta record already. Saw Blake at the Corifta trials. Reminds me of Edwin Moses in the four hurdles. Very scientific, very methodical, very patient, very calculated. 54-4 for the half. A little bit slower than when he ran the 147-62 at the Corifta trials. The Trinidadian Nathan Cumberbatch is in second position. Nairobi Smith Mills of Bermuda in third. But the Jamaican Joe Bond Blake has 200 meters to run and has a massive advantage here. Can he break the long-standing Corifta record of 1 minute 48.95? Blake transitions down the home stretch. Big battle on for silver and bronze. Cumberbatch of Trinidad is in second. Then the soul of Jamaica is in third. Siobhan Blake is pouring it on down the stretch. The Jamaican goes across the line. I think the record has survived. Cumberbatch and Nethersall close on the line for silver. 149.7 on my clock for the Caribbean champion, double champion, Javon Blake of Jamaica. Won the 1500, returns to win the 800 meters. Maybe a tinge of disappointment. Has a smile now at last because I know he wanted that record. Equal the Jamaican high school record last week. Saw that dejection in his demeanor. Really, really wanted it. Didn't get it, but it's a goal right there. Javon Blake, one more goal for this championship. Something important to point out, I think, when he set the 147-62 earlier this season, it was a still Sunday afternoon, windy here on this Easter Monday. And he had to contend with that. Cumberbatch performed brilliantly. Told you he would have a chance of a medal. Here's another look at it. Blake, very outside lane number eight. Has to run from wide to cut in. Took the lead early. Copper match of Trinidad and Tobago running his own race. In second for most of it. Blake pouring home. But missing the record that has stood since 1987. Kenroy Levis mark lives on. Good effort by Blake, conditions blustery, not the best for his event, has to face that for two circuits of the track, but gave it a mighty effort, his reward, second gold in his championships, this time at 800 meters, the classic double, 815 completed by Javon Blake. Cumberbatch of Trinidad and Tobago, Nathan Cumberbatch of Trinidad and Tobago, all smiles after his excellent performance confirmation 149 89 the time for javon blake cumberbatch 151 86 for silver another soul 151 96 for bronze nairobi smith mills on the 17th champion in 2019 finishes in fourth producing a personal best one minute 52.20 seconds that's a mighty effort from the young man smith mills under 17 champion three years ago shows his metal with a his metal with a pr in the final here on the 20th well let's find out what javon blake feels about that performance thank you ricardo i'm here with javon